A target aid investigation tonight found state law may not be enough to keep your kids out of the hands of a convicted sex offender. 24 Hour News Ace Marley Ginter joins us right now with what she's uncovered about this. Marley? Well, Sue, we discovered a gymnastics coach convicted for inappropriately touching a gymnast is back in the gym. The sheriff's department arrested him this month, but that's not why. There. Jennifer Light doesn't trust just anyone to teach her little girl, Caitlin. So imagine her reaction when she signed Caitlin up for gymnastics lessons at Ariel's and Barani's in Plainfield Township and found the coach was a convicted sex offender. I just don't understand how he can work with children. I mean, there's plenty of other jobs out there. I'm not saying he shouldn't be employed and he should be sent to the side of society, but he should not be teaching children. Target 8 pulled Coach Paul Hagen's court files and found in 1994 he was convicted of putting his hands under a 13-year-old gymnast's shirt and touching her breasts. Hagen spent time in jail and on probation, under which he had to sell his gym and not coach for four years. But he's back to coaching now, and his wife owns the gym. I went to Ariel's and Brannies for some answers. Neither Hagen nor his wife would talk to me on camera, but insisted the gymnasts are safe. But I looked further and found the prosecutor's office is investigating what it calls customer complaints. The Kent County Sheriff's Department arrested Hagen earlier this month for failing to update the sex offender registry. Investigators say he didn't list the gym as a place where he was, quote, conducting work or volunteer work. A new state law went into effect in July requiring all sex offenders to disclose where they work. Yet somehow he can teach gymnastics where you're touching the students, helping them do back bends and somersaults and fall, catching them if they fall off the beam. Um, it disgusts me. <laughs> Flat out disgusts me. Officials with the state sex offender registry tell me Hagen gave them an address, but it wasn't the one to the gym, and he also didn't register a vehicle associated with the gym, another new requirement by law. Meantime, Light won't let her daughter go to Hagen's gym and wants other parents to know why. After all, it is a popular place for kid birthday parties. They have no idea of his past, and I think everybody should be at least able to make their own decision if they want to allow their child to be there. State sex offender registry officials tell me they've received several complaints about Hagen from concerned parents and agree the law needs to change. We need to be clear about this. Hagen is legally allowed to work at the gym because it's not within a thousand feet of a school. And I also want to point out we've answered several calls tonight from parents who say their children are coached by Hagen and they trust him. Brian. Marley, thank you. As we mentioned, a new law just went into effect for sex offenders registering with the state. The new law classifies them into different categories and requires them to provide more information, something that Coach Hagen failed to do. That law was in part prompted by an earlier targeted investigation that revealed how violent and dangerous sex offenders were being treated the same way as lesser offenders.